League leaders Kelso Welcome, Bigger to Pounder Park on the opening weekend of 2023, looking to continue their form from the 2022 part of the season. And it was the host who drew first blood, when after some early pressure, Bruce McNeil crashed over the whitewash on 14 minutes. Dwayne Parson added the extras to extend the early lead to seven. There was then a scoreless period, before nippy Kelso fullback Nick Stingle scored a great individual try following a solo chip and chase. Parson's conversion attempt struck the post, and so Kelso led by 12. With just a few minutes left of the first period, Kelso scrum half Andy Tate managed his way over the try line to put the host further ahead, and with Parson's extras added, Kelso went in the break with a 19-0 lead. The start of the second half saw Bigger get a try of their own through Rowan Stewart, who finished off a well-worked move by the visitors, before Air Jardine was successful with his touchline conversion. Five minutes later, and Kelso cancelled out that score with a converted try of their own, as Bruce McNeil crossed the whitewash for the second time of the afternoon, which reassured the home supporters after losing a try early on in the second half. But Bigger were not done yet, and hunted Kelso down by adding two more tries as the second half progressed. First, Rowan Stewart scored his second of the afternoon with a try similar to his first, before David Reeve scored an unconverted try to reduce Kelso's lead to just seven. However, Kelso managed to weather the growing bigger momentum and cleverly opted to take the three points when awarded a penalty in the opposition's half. Parsons attempt sailed through to make life easier for Kelso and they went on to see out the game at the scoreline. So Kelso take all five points in offer here at Pounder Park and remain top of National 1 as it finishes Kelso 29, Bigger 19. From the second half, uh, Sean, Bigger will always get to come back at us, but I mean, we've done a lot of, a lot of hard work in the, in the first half, into the wind, which was pleasing, and we, we, played, we played really well in the first half, outstanding in fact, coming back off the holidays. Um, probably a four, it was a four-week break for us with the two games cancelled, so I was delighted. But we knew at half-time, kind of read the right act at half-time, and the, <laughs> Bigger come back at us all guns blazing. It was, it was a bit twitchy at times. Um, silly little errors creep crept in. We're back, not like us. Missed a couple of key tackles, which doesn't doesn't happen in another half of the season previous. So just rustiness maybe let us down a bit. But all in all, delighted with it with the performance because it was always going to be a tough game because bigger bigger are uh, they're a very hard side and I think they'll go on and, and cause a few upsets this season, which could help us along the way. So how do you view the time off you've had the last month? Is it a chance to get kind of recovered and things, or are you? Shape. Were you worried it would maybe stop your momentum a wee bit? No, I mean, we wasn't worried because we had a, we actually had a bounce, bounce game indoors between two teams with Kelsey, which, which hasn't happened, which couldn't happen for a few years, so it was a bonus to get that. But the, boy, the guys have looked after themselves and it's just, it's just got to get, get, get back on the train and, and get it going again. And um, we've had a good week this week, preparation, which, which me and Bruce were delighted with. All the players fronted up and, um, as I say, all in all, we're, 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 we're glad that first one's out of the way and it's, uh, it's a bonus point win. And given some of your results last season, you came just short up against the uh, Harriets and, and bigger and things. What do you think the difference is this season to be able to to win these big games? I just think the players are starting to believe in themselves and they know they've got a chance, they've got a chance of a lifetime to be honest. Because um, there's not a lot happened down here for years at Kelso, and these players have got something in front of them that can they'll be remembered for a long, long time. So, but listen, we're back to game by game, week by week. There's, we're not looking ahead, and that's never been. That's always been our motto. So. It's it, on to next week, on to Stu Mel, we'll get back down on Tuesday night, work hard Thursday night and we'll go again on Saturday. So Andy, another win for you, but Bigger really made you work for that today. Yeah, look, Ronda no losing. there's never an easy game in this league, there's no givens. We had to work really hard for it, credit to Bigger, they came back, we, got, we built up the lead in the first half, played some really good stuff and it's always difficult when you build up a league thinking you've won the game, um, but credit to Bigger, they're not a bad side. They haven't been, they're just maybe not firing this season and they came back uh, and uh, give us a scare towards the end there. How much of the uh, belief are you boys getting as a group from uh, from all these wins you're, you're getting this season? Yeah, look, it's a long long time coming, but it's difficult. Um, we're taking each game at a time. That's all we have done from the start of the season. Next week's Stu Mel, again, as I just said, there's no given in this league. Um, it's up to us to keep moving forward. Um, and that's the pressure we're putting on ourselves now and we're rising to it each week. But again, I don't think we've had a complete performance this season. It just shows there again, there's still a lot to work on and a lot to come from this group of guys. As you mentioned, Stu Mel next week, they're fighting for their lives just now. They won't make it easy for you? No, we've, we've, we've been there before as a group fighting for our lives. We know exactly what's, what's coming um, down at Pointer next week, so look forward to it.